If you've been keeping up with JangaFX and their real-time VFX tools like Ambergen and LiquidGen, you probably know they've been teasing something new for a while. And now, we finally have a proper look at it. It is called Illugen, and it's their next big thing, built specifically for in-game visual effects. And they just gave a full walkthrough during their Q2 livestream. And it is the first time we've seen what Illugen is actually about beyond those vague roadmap blurbs. So what is it? And what can it actually do? So what exactly is Illogen? In short, it is a standalone app that is being developed to help you create both 2D and 3D VFX assets for games, like procedural textures, animated flipbooks, stylized meshes, and more. Think of it as a focused blend of tools you would normally piece together, like Photoshop, Substance, maybe a bit of Houdini and After Effects, but it is designed with game VFX in mind, from the very start. Now, it is not trying to completely replace all those tools. The point is more about cutting out the friction. Instead of bouncing between six different programs just to get one effect working in Engine, you would stay inside Illogen, building everything there and exporting whatever you need straight into your engine. When it comes to the workflow, Illogen is planned to be fully node-based. So if you're comfortable with Ambergen or Substance Designer, it should feel familiar right away. Each node would give you real-time visual previews, which would make it way easier to troubleshoot your setup as you build things out. The tool would include procedural generators for things like noise, masks, and color ramps, but it is not limited to that. Illogen is also expected to support hand-painted textures, including procedural brushes that you can actually paint with, so it is not locked into purely procedural mindset. If you are the type who mixes both painting and graph building, this might suit you really well. For 3D work, the focus would be on effect-specific geometry. Stuff like magic beams, energy bursts, hit effects, and distortion meshes. It's not gonna be the place to model props or characters, but if you need simple geometry to drive shaders or particle effects, this can be the tool that covers that part of your workflow. During the stream, they ran through a few early examples. One of them was a mana orb built by importing a fluid flipbook from Embergem distorting it with a UV map, and layering in some procedural textures and gradients. What's interesting is that everything was built and previewed inside the same tool. No back and forth between apps to check how things would look, and this seems really promising. They also showed particles traveling along a spline, something like an energy trail, and a more complex example where they built stylized wings entirely inside Illogen. The design was inspired by Diablo 3 aesthetic, and it gives an idea of the kind of detail the tool might handle. On the pipeline or production side of things, Illogen doesn't seem like it will be closed off or restrictive, because you'll be able to bring in flipbooks from Embergen or Houdini for that matter. You can modify them inside Illogen and export them again in formats that make sense for game engines, which is a great thing. They are actually expecting support for things like baked textures, position data, and alumbic caches right out of the gate. And direct export to engines like Unreal, Unity, and Godot is something they are aiming for eventually. But early on, exporting would still be a manual process. You would have to bake your assets, then bring them into the engine yourself. It is also expected to support VATS, which stands for Vertex Animated Textures, which is definitely a plus for anyone working with baked animations in real-time environments. After we talked about this, who is it for? I mean, who can use Illogen. From what I can see, it is mainly for game-focused VFX artists. This can mean technical artists, effects specialists, or even solo game dev artists trying to prototype gameplay effects. Illogen isn't trying to cover film pipelines or replace general-purpose modeling tools. The idea is that it is all about in-game VFX, at least for now. Nick Sievert, the CEO of JangaFX, mentioned the long-term goal for Illogen to eventually take over some of the game-specific workflows that are currently handled in Houdini. It is not actually meant to compete with Houdini across the board, but in areas where Houdini can feel slow or overbuilt. In that case, Illogen might offer something faster and more focused. As for when this software is gonna drop, JangaFX is aiming for the summer of 2025, most likely during their Elemental Week, which is an event that is gonna take place at the end of July. Also, when it comes to pricing, I think it is not finalized, not yet. 
but it is expected to land somewhere around $300 or $299, similar to Emberchan. If you already have the Elemental Suite, the good news, you will get Elogen bundled with that. And beyond version 1.0, they are planning to continue development, adding things like destruction tools and more seamless export options for common game engines. So yeah, it is still in development, but based on what we have seen, Elogen could end up being a useful additional tool for VFX toolkits and game development pipelines, especially if you're working in a node-based engine-ready workflow. In that case, I think it's gonna be amazing and it's gonna bring additional efficiency in your work. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.